Hey guys, um, back with another update for you. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments and wanting to update on this pool heater here. Um, so let's just get to it. This will be a quick video, just kind of an overview. So this is the pool heater that I've been using for two years now and you've seen my build videos on it. Um, not much has changed other than you can see the front here. What I did is I spun this door all the way around because it just wasn't getting enough draft through here. Um, so I, I put this on and that way it gets more of a draft underneath the, uh, underneath the wood in here. <clears throat> um, so I did do that, that was kind of a big thing and it still doesn't get a good draft. I still need to keep the door kind of open like that. Just cracked, otherwise the, the flames kind of just die out. Um, but you can see, I'll see here, I got a ton of creosote on my pipes, um, which doesn't help with heating, but um, I, I haven't cleaned it in the last two years. I mean, it, it needs it, but... Um, I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. It works. Uh, barrel's in good shape. I'm just I'm winterizing the pool right now, so I gotta clean all this stuff out of here. But um, I added a, uh, a thermostat there just to kind of see where I'm at for how hot the fire is. And then they come around here. Still got the pipes come up the back, and then it goes to um, plastic pipes which run underground, which I got wrapped all in insulation underground. It runs to the ground or over to here to my little manifold assembly. <clears throat> so it comes in here and normally just through here, but I can shut this valve and divert it down into the pipes and it comes back. This little fitting here is for winterizing, which I'm gonna do here shortly. I just push air through there to push all the water out of it and then run some winter RV antifreeze in it. <clears throat> I also got a propane heater here, which is run also run in series. One thing I would <clears throat> I would uh, do if I had to re redo this pool heater, or eventually when I have to redo it, is what happens with that cold water running through these pipes and you get, get a fire going in here um, as that starts heating up it drips like crazy off of them them pipes so it's constantly getting the wood wet while you're trying to make a make a fire or, or get the fire going so i think what i would do to maybe fix that is build maybe some sort of plating in here you know even wrap it with maybe a, a tin or something that way it would, you wouldn't get creosote on the pipes for one and then the water wouldn't drip right on the wood it would just drip down the sides of the barrel um and that's another thing to note too with the dripping you probably should drill maybe a couple holes in the bottom of the the barrel down here to maybe let that water drain out so it doesn't sit in the bottom um it doesn't drip a lot but you know it just it does so Little tip there, maybe is if whoever's maybe wanting to build one of these, is I that's what I would recommend doing is is build some sort of a plate in here, um, just to cover the pipes and then to keep the water off the wood while you're while you're uh, trying to get the fire going. So, um. so I, one of the big questions is how well does it work? Well, um, after two years or two summers of using it. Um, and it, with the creosote built up and everything I checked it this spring um, and granted I'm only it's not scientific by any means I checked it with our little rubber ducky pool heater um, but with 60 degree water temp it'll raise it um, about five degrees um, isn't a lot but that's pretty cold water running through there at only 60 degrees and to be able to raise it five ain't bad you know as the water temperature gets warmer the more it can put out <clears throat> now the propane heater comparable um, same temperature, 60 degrees, it can raise it 14 degrees coming out. And granted, that's just a rubber ducky pool heater or pool thermometer that you stick in front of the 
water coming out. So not scientific by any means, but that's just a rough estimate. So it's a lot of work for just five degrees, um, but like I said, that's six degree water temps that I tested it at. So I think it's well worth it. Well, like I said, we use it every spring, get it heated up good, and then switch over to propane to keep it topped off. Um, reason being is just so it doesn't use so much propane to, <clears throat> to heat it up. So anyway, just a quick video guys, quick update on that. Um, any other questions, comments, um, leave them down below and I'll answer them as I can. Um, but thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.